all right hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode today we're gonna try to explain the new update that came yesterday on the matching 2 which is 19.5 the main focus on this update is pretty much transform amounts from a black horse to a many now imagine if you get a black horse 60 days and you tr you have a many with one day or less and you put the many on the black horse and boom what do you get you get a black horse with 60 days that has 60 movement speed which has the skin of a many and the movement speed you get infinite movement speed with no potions needed for the next 60 days of course so let's get right into it and then you go map one at Teo. it's right next to storekeeper and here map one and go here and uh, mount transformation you put wild boar on the left side and white lion which i want to be absorbed White Lion has 4 hours and experience 30%. This one has monster 20% and 17 days. And now, let's see the transformation. You need 30 mil. And then you get a wild boar that looks like a white lion and has 17 days. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the time only goes by when you ride it, basically. So if you keep it in the inventory, the time doesn't go out. So you basically have a wild boar in a white lion costume. You can actually drop it, you trade it, you can do whatever you want. It's pretty cool. I wish I could do a many, but 29 days a many is not what, just for 5% monsters. It still looks pretty cool though, a white lion. Alright, so we're gonna put this case scenario, you got... A black horse which has 60 movement speed and 60 days I'm gonna put it on left side and many which has 28 days I personally will not do it yet but if you think about it black horse has 60 movement speed and your base movement speed on the 60 you pretty much you're gonna have a black horse with 60 days which has 60 movement speed on a many costume like you're gonna be so fast you probably will never have to use purple potions in your entire life with 60 days black horse but i will personally wait until this many has like i don't know one day or less and then i'm gonna put it on a black horse with 60 days all right well, let's test wild boar in white line costume movement speed and then we're gonna try wild boar normal this has 200 movement speed and time all right let's try with the wild boar it looks fast but it's not time all right, we're gonna test uh, if there's a difference between the damage, which I personally think there's no difference. It's just about the looks and the movement speed. Basically, this white line had four hours. And if you're wondering if you're gonna ride this wild boar for four hours, the line is gonna disappear. The answer is no, it will not disappear. It will be absolutely until the wild boar disappears, basically 17 days. So I'm gonna test the damage now between the wild boar with white lion and the normal one. So I have uh, 1200 damage. 11, 1200. That's my normal damage on this one. Now let's try with the wild boar normal. So basically there's no difference between the damage. It's absolutely the same damage. It's all about the looks and the movement speed. It's a simple transmission. Alright, now there's something else interesting that you can do daily, which is called daily quest. You can find it on the mission tab here. There are five individual quests, which is being resetted every single day. So even if you don't complete it today, you will be resetted in 16 hours for me. So this quest will be given to you automatically on this tab if you're level 50 or above. I will try to complete all the quests right now and see what are the prizes. First of all, I have uh, use Animosphere, which is in Zodiac Temple. This is the one. Alright, let's use one Animosphere. Here it is. You just have to get in and then get out. And it's completed. And use Animosphere completed. Collect the reward from the quest window. I'm gonna collect it. 5,000 yen. Now let's get the hell out of here. Alright, I just found a stone on my level range. Which I'm pretty sure should be fine i need to break two of them and mobs let's see gotta destroy two of them what about the monsters though two i need two of them in my level range that's a quest that i've never done it before
Let's see, does it count? Alright, one more. Complete kill bosses and destroy magic stones, I get... The rewards. Okay, so I need to do... Two more. I need to grill a fish and the alchemist. Alright, so I need to disassemble an item, so I'm gonna take a simple knife, a weapon. I'm gonna go quickly and disassemble it. And then I'm gonna grill a fish. And that's it. There you go. Give me my reward. Oh, card cornice, I'll take it. There you go. And a campfire. And the last quest. And I got a potion chest. This is what you get pretty much. And I open it and I got Sambo water. Oh, I got a daily gift. Oh, hold up. And a daily gift. Can I trade it? Okay, it looks like I cannot trade it. I can't do anything with it. I can just open it pretty much. As far as I can tell. Let me just trade it to a random guy. No, I cannot trade it. It's absolutely undroppable. Let me see if I can store it now. Can I store it? It's not storable. So it's just for character pretty much. Let's open it. And I got a glimmer stone. Alright. This is the new crafting interface that has been worked on. If you check on the refinement. Now on the weapons you can see the percentages and what materials do you need. Now if you want to upgrade a rune sword to plus zero you need a battle sword plus nine and uh, it's a 50% chance to make it. Now you can check every single weapon that is 50% chance it gives you a chance now. There's also a new interface on how you make potions so let's see refinement it's the same concept tells you the percentages and what materials do you need. And this one is 100% obviously. You can actually make belts here. I actually had no idea you can make belts on this one. And it tells you the percentages as well. And the last change that has been made is the pickup pets. Which is Wayne and Bonsai. This is the Wayne that I currently have and I'm running it in Enchanted Forest. First change is pets will only pick up items that are owned by the summoning player. Including mine ores and quest items. Basically, if you are in a group with somebody else or somebody drops an item on the ground, the pet will never pick it unless it's yours. Pets will now not pick up any items that have been dropped before they were summoned. Basically, let's say that I dropped something here with my name. Now if I summon this Wayne, he will simply ignore it. He will not pick it up. It needs to be summoned before the drop happened. So I have to pick it manually here. In addition, they won't pick up dragon rings items dropped by the players and items received from killing other players if a player decides to drop stuff around you when you will, will simply ignore it or bonsai if you have a, any pickup pets you will simply ignore it and just focus on what's yours also the last change that i've noticed if you drop an item on the ground with your name and the pet tries to pick it you will simply try one time and if your inventory is full, you will simply ignore it for the duration of uh, the item until it disappears. Basically, as you can see, he tried it one time to pick it up and if your inventory is full, you will simply ignore it. Let's see how uh, lucky I am of removing alchemy on my Sura. I was using this in the past on, uh, I believe it was in catacombs, because defense would help me sometimes. But it's time to remove it because I don't have a use for it. Since I will uh, change the alchemy with mythical. And let's see how lucky I am to remove it. Hopefully I am lucky enough so I can sell it. But let's see. Come on baby. Failed. I've uh, completed the biologist. 80 biologists. I think this is the highest biologist I've ever done in my entire life probably. Which is the 81. I have never gone so far before. And uh, let me see the result. So basically my attack value has been increased by 10% and my attack speed by 6%. Fantastic. Sweet. And I got an ebony. Oh, reinforced item, that's pretty good.
Oh, nice. That was second time. I. It could have been worse. Like last time, I think I put ten and didn't got it. So this one is pretty good. All right, peeps. I know this enchanted item is pretty trash because it has the little bee over there and it can't actually. It, it's absolutely trash, but you gotta try it. I know it's a small percentage that you get a full bonus, but it's worth a try because. I am not the type of person to invest in item shops, so I gotta do it the fashion way, the old school way that I have to level characters, and then I'm gonna change the bonuses. So, might as well try it. Let's see. Alright, this one is. It has auto 10, bell defense, trash. Nothing as well either. Let's try again. Oh, you see that? 1.5k HP and 3% SP let's see what do we get I will change first on the bracelet but HP and 5 health human hey pega the other ones crap one more on this one oh 1.5k HP and that's it keep this for a while yeah One left. And nothing. Piece of shit. Alright everyone, I've decided to do something really stupid. I've decided to upgrade and play a little bit with the alchemy. Uh, I can lose 3, 1 and 50 mil or I can literally make 10, 1 easily. It's all matters of luck. It's all gamble. Let's try it out. And... Failed. I lost 3, 1, 50 mil. No problem. Hi right, everyone, today I will attempt for fun to do the catacomb run, I have 100 on that, and uh, I have 25 darkness resistance, so I should be fine, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm currently 75 on both characters, so I will attempt to do it, I don't know if it's actually easy to do it, I've never done it before, so hopefully it's going to be fun, let me find out what damage do I have. I have this one with 30 and 21 dead. 16k. It's not, it's not bad at all. 5k and 10k. It should be fine, I think. So let me try it out. Let's see if I succeeded. Alright, I got the key from a random auto hunter. I still see people here hunting. I unfortunately gave up. I don't care too much about catacombs anymore. The entrance portal has been opened, enter it quickly, okay. Let's get in. Destroy the gate seal to reach the third floor. Okay, I will try. <gasps> this is the final boss. We finally arrived. All right, let's try the boss now. Follow me. Come with me to the paradise city. Where the grass is green. Never mind, that's not the place. Here's the place. Oh, lagged a little bit there. Okay, you pushed me there, didn't you? What is going on? Clicked on Ezreal. But it, nothing happens. What is going on, dude? This game. I'm clicking on Azrael, but doesn't attack him. That is so weird. It'll be fine now, I think. Am I set it up? I think so. Yeah, I'm ready, I think so. I have 100 undead. I should be fine. Let me do our sword. Hopefully they won't push me again that hard. Okay, now they push me. It's like they push me so weird that I'm just getting out of the way. I think he should be dead by any time now. 
and I used like two blessings. I don't think I needed to use them, but I did. Just to be safe. And... You're gonna die anytime now? Oh, I forgot to put the bless. It is what it is now. Alright, I think I'm ready. Let's go. Let me finish him now. You're finished now. You hear me? Azrael. I gotta be careful of the health bar. When he gets slower, that's when he hits. And she should be dead now. Die. Wow. He almost died, but didn't. And he's dead. Ooh, nice. What did we get? Ooh, Oak Champ. I actually did it. God damn, dude. Azor has been defeated. Peace finally reigns in Cadaveril Catacombs. Now you'll be teleported to the surface. Okay, that was interesting. Very difficult though, and I've learned something. This was my first Catacombs run. It was a hell of an experience. I think I've learned something on how to put my character and kill him. Like, probably near here somewhere around here and just keep pressing space it was quite interesting Alright lads, I purchased those uh, fire shoes with uh, 51, they're pretty decent, it was very cheap and I'm gonna attempt making them maybe plus 8, I'll try a few times hopefully. Uh, let's go! I'm very curious about this upgrading. Okay, plus 5 yeah. Now we need scroll, and I got a bunch of those. Nice, plus 5. Six failed. Ooh. Let me up, put them up there. Fail again. Okay. Plus five again. What about plus six? Okay, dude. I don't know what's going on, but... This is just normal, I believe. I think it's normal. Maybe it's not. Plus three. Let me get the scroll. I uh, have one more of those. Uh, I need to make more. Be right back one second. And one. Alright, let's try again. Here we go, boys. Ooh, plus six. That's what I'm talking about. I want a plus seven. Wait, should I do with blacksmith? Plus seven, then plus eight. I don't know. Nah, nah, it doesn't work it. Only at plus seven. 
Maybe I should. I will try one with Jaga Scroll though. Fuck. Next one is with Handbook. Next one is with Handbook. <gasps> Plus eight. Wait, not the right material? What? Oof. Hmm. Will it be plus 8? Because if it's plus 8, they will stay plus 8 forever. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna do some voodoo shit. And I can feel it now. I'm just gonna do it slowly. And easy. And it failed. And it's gone. Alright, everyone. Here we go again. I think uh, those are my last, absolutely my last three dioxide. There is no way to find today anymore. Like, it's absolutely impossible. So let's try. Plus seven? Mm. <laughs> that would be lovely. Stop, 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 stop. It's fine. It's just a game. Okay, now I need more materials. Who would have thought? Alright, that was quick. I got the materials quickly. Let's go again, plus seven. I don't know how many times I failed it, but that's just made in two. Oh! <gasps> plus eight. Now, quickly, quickly! Yes! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I felt it. I literally felt it in my balls. There's absolutely no reason to make them plus nine. It's like, there's no reason. Plus eight, it is. 